Hey, what up legends? How's it going? Qin Bacon here. Now, today, for the deck showcase, I'm going to be playing a fantastic Warlock deck that was created by Breaker Tim on Hardpawn, and he managed to climb all the way up to Legend from uh, what I believe was rank 4 in one day, one sitting, with a 75% win rate, which is absolutely incredible. Before we do anything, though, I'm a happy camper. The channel just got 14,000 subs, so thank you to everyone. Now, including in that, there was a giveaway today. I'm going to mention today's giveaway winner at the end of the video, so be sure to uh, stick around for that. And, well, since we achieved the 14k subs, uh, I decided that next Sunday we will have a subathon. Right, another new subathon where every amount of subs that we get, uh, the stream keeps being longer, and I give more gifts to people, and there's going to be a giveaway and some trivia and things like that. So if you want to participate in that, join us. And of course, if you want to participate in the giveaway, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the description, and I'll enter you in the draw for that. So. That's what's going to be happening this week. The deck that we're playing today, let me just show you guys real quick. Um, it is called Even Warlock, Legendary Even Warlock, of course. Uh, there is no guide currently, so I will attempt to explain to you and show how the deck works. And, well, of course, we're running Gen in that deck, so it is going to be quite fantastic. Let me jump into a game real quick. And uh, let's try to have some fun, shall we? It's been a while since I've made a good Warlock video, so let's hope that this one goes well. Uh, and and then I believe, and, and again, I'm sorry if the deck is expensive. I know some of you guys have been asking me for cheaper decks and whatnot. Um, I will come up with something for you guys this week. I can guarantee it. Uh, but in the meantime... I wanted to show what you could try to climb the ladder, uh, and and, and we'll, we'll be able to uh, showcase that pretty significantly with a deck as insane as this one. Now, turn three, we've got the giant, which means that I don't need any of this. I'm gonna go for another one, baby, or or Drake, either or. Okay, see, this is fine. This is a fine hand. Now. There is we no board clear in this deck apart from Hellfire. Be careful. Okay, be extremely careful. Oh, wow. Oh, there. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that hand. Oh, that hand is nasty. Hot, nasty farts. Look at. Oh, my God. This is insane. Right, nine cards, and the next turn, what happens? Mountain Giant, and what happens after Mountain Giant? Other Mountain Giant. It's freaking crazy. And, well, I mean, the guy is playing, um... Recruit? I, I believe he's playing what I, I think is Recruit. Hunter. And if he has a way to kill this one, he definitely does not have a way to kill the next one. I can guarantee you that right now. He does not. He definitely does not. That is incredible. Um, Alright, so we will play the giant. And I'm going to coin out this little taunt guy. I don't want to take too much damage. Um, and yeah, I mean... Yeah, this is happening right now. Oh. Yeah, no, see, that's Masterful. that's not enough. Goodbye. This is what I mean. Like, this deck is insane. Um, <laughs> this deck is insane. You should try it out. Uh, it seems to be working quite well. For me, at least. I, I love decks like this. You don't have... You don't have a uh, Siphon Soul... You don't have Twisting Nether. However, you've got the Spellbreaker, you've got the Hellfires, and all those things, so... 
your that usually works well. I will keep a doomsayer. I will drop everything else. I'm trying to get the giant once again. Ah, nah. Okay, I'll show you what happens when we don't get the giant. Okay, that's. Our curse into our that's just the... However, since we draw for, oh, we're playing a mirror match. Uh, since we draw for one, I, I have a pretty decent chances of actually getting one. Interesting. Interesting. And that's what we're going to do next turn as well. We're going to draw... Oh, there it is. So I actually can play it next turn. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Getting those giants on point. You can't play your giant. So I can. I don't care about that card. I don't care about that card. It is now turn for my giant. Mwahaha. <laughs> All right, cool. The issue here is uh, if if we smack him in the face, I was gonna say if we smack him in the face, that hooked reaver is a thing that can happen. We've got the Drake right on time. I mean, another giant would have been quite fantastic, but since we don't manage to get it, the end is coming. Okay. See here, I can Hellfire and attack into it, and I can, you know, deal three damage to my Drake, but I can still keep the Drake on the board. So I'll I'll go on ahead and do that. Why would I draw? Uh, that would have been a very bad, a very bad play there. So I'm not gonna draw. I'm gonna wait. The end is coming. Okay. Hmm. Okay then. I'm gonna play Numferatu. I'm gonna play that. I don't mind not having them for. Oof. Oof. That giant's gone. And then Numferatu again. And then oof. Oh, it's just a protector. Okay, well, I, 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 I'm gonna draw a card. So this, is, this was a this was a fine turn. He would have drawn that giant, so he would have had a giant right now, right after a board clear. Would have had a giant, and then I would not have had anything to counteract that. So that would have sucked. This is okay. This is fine. Lich King. Yeah, Lich King sounds good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would have been nice, but, uh, but, yeah, no, I'm going to coin out in Lich King here. I mean, it's just a thing that I can do. Okay, the blit rate does not hurt too much. Makes my hook retriever a little, a little easier to proc. Depending on if I take damage or not, which I do. Okay then. Let's go with the hook driver. And then play Doomsayer. The end is coming. I don't want to obliterate, but I kinda have to. I, I will obliterate this card. Alright. I just want to make sure that the Doomsayer stays there. Um, and then as soon as I can, that Blood River Gul'dan is going to help us a little bit. It, it really depends what we what we do here. what How we manage to, to stick something. If, if we actually do end up sticking something on the board, we'll be in a good shape. But if he silences my Doomsayer and he kills the... Or he kills that. Kevin, welcome. I see this is not very good for us. 
don't appreciate. Um, I will play the Infernal. I protect her. Now, my my hope is that he kills the Dread Infernal, and then next turn I can Gul'dan. Try to come back a little bit in the game. My opponent has been a little, a little annoying at the moment. Um, this is not... This is not really something that I want to see on here. Let's get it by. Perfect. So we do lose the Dread Infernal. Okay. So we lose the Dread Infernal. Play Gul'dan. Gain a little bit of... Tiny little bit of demons. We get those demons back. But now we've got the siphon. Which is great. What's what's this? What is this? Ah. Uh, Blood Reaver. Of course. Blood Reaver, of course. Okay. Um I shall... Well, first of all, I'm going to Shroom Brewer. Then I'm going to Spellbreaker is, is Drake. Those are things that I can do. Kill this. Kill this. Kill the Drake. Not such in a terrible spot anymore. He's got five cards. I have ten. I have the board. And I mean, you know. Oh. Wow. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let me kill this real quick. Let me put down uh, this Dread Infernal as well as this Beetle. And I understand that this, the Drake is going to be pretty terrible, but... What can I do about it? Not much. For now. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Right. Of course. I mean, that's pretty big. This curse has become our greatest threat. Go ahead and put down that dude, sir. Which again does not achieve anything. Your magic apart from making my opponent want to do that. I can kill. I can kill a spellbreaker. Extremely yeah. easily now. And he's going face. Keep that keep that in mind. Alright. We can play our Defile. Play the Drake. Play the Beetle. The Drake dies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I have nothing left. And he does. So that's, that's a little scary. I only have this last this giant to help me out. Our oh boy. I'm out the only cards. redemption in this is that he gets to... He gets to fatigue much faster than I do. That is the only good thing about this. I'm out of cards. Fatigue comes now. So it all depends. It all depends what he has left in his hand, which 
Okay, the reaver does not matter. This other reaver does not matter. Okay. Defile. I will pass. I will keep this. Just so I can play my own reaver and make him proc next turn. You know, it's easier that way. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Reaver. Kill. Opponent. Taking fatigue damage. Very good. I have a hooked reaver that he can kill. You know, he can kill it. That's understandable. Still sucks. I would have waited there if I were you, my friend. I cannot play that yet, so I will keep it in hand. Takes three. Alright. I'm gonna have to wait for the two last cards in order for me to be able to play that giant. I'll play it. I will definitely... I'll be definitely more than happy to play it. But I can't play it yet. Now is the time where he actually really starts to take damage. I hope he just—I I hope he does not have a siphon scroll. There's my last giant, my friend. There's the last giant. Oh, I sort of, but not feel bad about this. I am now in a better spot than you were. Seems like we played this a little better than he did. Um, that Gnome Feradu was fantastic. The file. And the last card is... Army of the Dead. <laughs> of course. Good night, friend. Kill him on my turn. Pretty good. There goes that gold. Alright, I love this week. The gold slash dust combo is pretty freaking fantastic. And this deck makes it really easy for you to achieve those quests that require you to uh, play more than 20 turns or whatnot. You know, you know, there was a quest I think it was like play 25 turns or whatever. This deck, try try this deck out. You know, you'll. I mean, it's only gonna be one game, but since since the deck is good anyway, you were already gonna do it. You'll finish the quest in two games. That's it, right? So. Alright. Oof. Yes. Okay. We don't have the coin, which means that you know. We can't do it immediate. I'll keep the Doomsayer though. We can't do it immediately. We have to wait until turn four. But uh, we play turn four before our opponent. So that's good for us. Into our strength. All right. Ooh, and the Sun Fury Protector. That could actually be very good. Hi, friend. Now, see, he's playing Hunter. He could be playing a Freezing Trap. Freezing Trap on the Giant here. Uh, it's not good. It's not good for us. Alright, come in. Come on. Steady shot. And I'm, I'm actually legit killing myself right now. I don't I don't want to do this because I don't want to die. Alright. Good. The question is, how long do I last? 
I'm already at 26. Hunter's Mark. Oh, come on. All right. All right. Fair enough. See, this, this type of thing can happen. But fear not. The second giant comes in. And, well, uh, whatever. I mean, at this point, I'm already... I'm already committed on this. I'm gonna play the Drake and the Sun Fury Protector. And and this should go pretty well. Flanking strike, sounds good. Alright. So let's go Twilight. Get that protector. This reminds me of Handlock from way, way long ago. I like this. This is fun. Maybe not so much for my opponent, but I find this very Your fun. Magic shall not save. Did you really? Okay. Okay. Alright. You know what? It's fine. It's really not, but... Oh, he made a mistake. <laughs> he silenced this. <laughs> but he had taunt. So it's still alive. Oh, that is really funny. Gonna play the homunculus to give more taunt. Gonna play a little plated beetle here. I'm gonna smack the guy in the face for 10 damage. He's ahead of me. Okay, heal. That's good. That's really good. If I want, I can play Lich King next turn. So yeah, so far this is this is going quite well. The guy did make a mistake with the with the Drake though. He should have done that on the on the giant and killed it immediately. Would have taken four less damage. But, you know. Actually, it would have taken much less than four less damage. I would still have the Drake, but... That turn, I would not have done anything. I would have traded and kept the Drake. Warriors of the frozen waves. Oh. That's really sad. Because um, you're dead. But... You know, it's in these types of situations where I feel, I, I think I should feel bad, but I don't. But this type of shit happens and it makes me, it makes me like, try to understand what goes in people's, people's mind. Unless you had nothing else, like why would you ever want to do that when that's going to go in anyway? I don't know. He probably didn't have anything, unfortunately. And that's it. So, three games, three wins. Extremely, extremely good deck. <laughs> I don't know. I like doing that. It's funny. Um, yeah. Try it out. It, it works. It works pretty darn well. I did say there was going to be a way, uh, a way of me uh, giving out some packs to you guys today. Because it was a giveaway day. So, uh. I have my winner already. That person is uh, Diamond Dave. So Di uh, Diamond, you, you just have to PM me. Uh, you have to do it fast though, because I believe the bundles are going away soon. Um, so PM me on YouTube or on Discord. Discord is in the description. And I'll send you those packs. So uh, thanks to everyone for participating. Don't forget that there is next week a new giveaway slash um, sub uh, what would they call it subathon yeah I'm doing one of those so gifts for everyone some Q&A's I'm going to do a giveaway I'm gonna show some new decks I'm gonna try your guys decks and a few things like that and the more subs that we get the longer the stream is gonna last so that's gonna be a pretty fun pretty fun game we're gonna play there so thanks a lot everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.